looking to pick your poison. Today, you're being poisoned by the zombie of the disease world, rabies. What makes rabies so zombie-like? First, it's an incurable viral disease that's passed from animal to animal through a bite or saliva. Secondly, it wants your brains. Seriously, rabies actually changes the brains of its victims, making them more aggressive and prone to spreading the disease even further, just like zombies. So let's say you just got bit by a rabid animal. If you seek immediate medical attention, you'll be fine. The rabies vaccine is 100% successful if administered within the first 10 days. If you think you may have already gotten the rabies vaccine, the answer is no. No, you probably didn't. The only people who get immunized for rabies prior to an incident are zookeepers, spelunkers, and other people who work closely with animals. You're not a spelunker, are you? No? Good. Let's say for some reason you decide not to seek treatment. You're like, it wasn't that big a bite, and who hasn't been bitten by a rabid animal? Am I right, bros? Well, bad call. You feel fine now, but in a few months, you'll probably die like the other 55,000 tough guys per year who didn't seek medical treatment. And let me tell you, it's not a pleasant way to go. We're talking insomnia, confusion, paranoia, hallucinations, delirium, uncontrollable fits of rage, and foaming at the mouth, at which point you're quarantined, strapped to a bed, and moaning crazy things like brains, which they're not gonna give you, by the way. Then you die. So I'll say it again. If you're bitten by an animal or even wake up in the same room as a bat, get to a doctor right away. Don't wait until symptoms arrive. To dodge possible run-ins with your immune system, rabies travels in your peripheral nervous system instead of your bloodstream, which means that you won't feel any symptoms until it's too late. So you get rabies and now you're dead. There's not a lot of good news here. First, you're the type of person who gets bitten by a rabid animal and doesn't even call a doctor. I mean, even Evil Knievel will go to the hospital after a crash, so what are you trying to prove? Secondly, you're a really unlucky person. 97% of people infected by rabies were bitten by dogs, but in the US, animal control and vaccination programs have pretty much eliminated domestic dogs as carriers of rabies, so you were attacked by a wild dog. Who does that? When was the last time you even saw a wild dog? I mean, I saw Wild Hogs, the movie on a plane once, and that was bad enough. And thirdly, if you didn't get it from a dog, here's a list of some of the other freaks that have passed rabies off onto humans. Bats, skunks, mongooses, groundhogs, hamsters, guinea pigs, and bears. That's only a partial list, and already we have a guy who got bitten by a rabid bear and didn't bother to get a rabies shot. Who is this guy? Ron Swanson? Anyway, rabies seems like a pretty terrible way to die, and you should probably pick another poison. Maybe give Ebola a try. Monkeys love it. And as always, please subscribe and let me know in the comments what you'd like for us to cover next.